this is Malin Cott and Christian Faber. This episode is the week of October 14th through the 19th. In this edition of The Chatter, we will examine the headlines at RCHS this coming week. Look ahead to the important upcoming events. Check into the club scene. Run through the Comet Sports for the week. Devour the lunch menu. And assess for school trivia with the Comet Question of the Week. theme of service continues this week. On Tuesday, October 14th, the juniors will be going to the auditorium during Comet Time for their character ed lesson. Then, on Thursday, October 16th, the seniors will take their turn. The Homework Depot will be open before school tomorrow, Wednesday, October 15th, from 6.45 to 7.45 a.m. We are on the PLC late start schedule, so first period will begin at 8.25. Image Group will be back on Wednesday, October 15th for the picture retakes. If you need your picture retaken, the photographers will be in the auditorium and students will be called down by grade, starting with the freshmen and ending with the seniors. At this time, we'd like to introduce our new choir director, Michael Brand. He's going to talk about the fall choir concert. Well, hello there. Mr. Brand here, reminding you of our choir concert next week. That'll be Wednesday, October 15th at 8 o'clock. Note that the time has changed to 8 o'clock to accommodate the board meeting, so uh, come out and support your peers. Hope to see you there. On October 17th, the seniors from football, cheerleading, golf, and marching band will be recognized at the football game. And now let's look ahead with Katie Castanero. Hi, this is Katie Castanero, and let's look ahead to some upcoming events at Recaster High School. October 22nd and 23rd, here teacher conferences will be held from 4.30 to 8 p.m. on both nights. The 23rd is also an early dismissal day. The senior class photo will be taken on the 23rd before students are dismissed at 11.15. October 24th, there is no school, so enjoy a three-day weekend. October 29th, the FCCLA Leadership Conference takes place in Bloomington, Illinois. We will have more information about this in next week's episode. November 7th, 8th, and 9th, the fall play, Moon Over Buffalo, will be performed in the RC Auditorium. The show will begin at 7 p.m. on Friday, November 7th, and on Saturday, November 8th, and then at 2 p.m. on Sunday, November 9th. November 11th, there is no school due to Veterans Day. Have a great week, everybody. Hi, I'm Megan Lord, let's look at what some of the clubs and activities are up to. The RCHS Marching Band will perform the final halftime show of the year at the last home football game this Friday, October 17th. It is also senior night, so all the senior band members will be recognized. As you already heard from Mr. Brand, the choir students will have the fall choir concert on Wednesday, October 15th at 8 o'clock in the auditorium. This is a free concert, so come out and enjoy some beautiful music performed by the talented choir students. Would you like to win some donuts? Mmm. Donuts. Mouth for your comment time? Well, the FCCLA can make that happen. Here's FCCLA member Jessica Boyd to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Jessica Boyd, president of the Family Career Community Leaders of America, also known as FCCLA. We need your help so we can help the communities of Braidwood, Custer Park, Godley, and Essex. Donations can be made during common time on the week of October 14th through the 23rd. And we are collecting in our conference with these bags um, non-perishable items like canned goods, cereal, noodles, and non-refrigerated inflatable items. And then also we are collecting toiletries like detergents and uh, dish soaps. If you have any questions, ask Mrs. Wilkie or Mrs. Hogan. And also, the comment time with the most donations that wins donut, donuts and milk for comment time. If you like classical movies and good discussion, think about joining the RCHS Film Club. This new club will meet once each month to watch and discuss some of the greatest films of the past 90 years. We'll have a brief 15 minute informational meeting after school this Wednesday, October 15th, in Mr. Boris's room for anyone interested in joining. The 
first movie will be shown at the tour on Wednesday, October 29th from 3.30 to 6 p.m. To see Mr. Newsome, Ms. Rankin, or Mr. Boris if you have any questions. That will do it for this episode of Comic Clubs and Activities. See you next week, comics, and keep on club. <laughs> <laughs> events for the week on October 13th. Let's start with golf. Congratulations to Sarah Maddox for her regional championship, and good luck to Sarah and Judson Weitzel at sectionals. Cheddar Sports Update. Sarah Maddox advances to state. Sarah scored a 74 to place first at the Watsika Girls Golf Sectional. She will compete in the Class A IHSA State Tournament on Friday and Saturday, October 17th and 18th. Good luck, Sarah! Now for football, starting with freshman football. Monday, October 14th, the boys travel to Lockport for a 5.45 kickoff. Now for JV and varsity. Friday, October 17th, the Comets host Streeter. This is the last home game, so it is senior night. The JV, the JV game begins at 5.30, followed by the varsity game. Last but not least, our volleyball team has a busy week, starting with the freshman squad. Tuesday, October 14th, the girls host Westmont at 5 o'clock. Thursday, October 16th, they travel to Lyle for a 4.30 match. Now for the sophomore squad. Tuesday, October 14th, the girls host Westmont at 6 o'clock. Thursday, October 16th, the girls are on the road to Lyle for a 5.30 match. Saturday, October 18th, the girls are competing in the Joliet West Invitational that begins at 8 a.m. Finally, the varsity girls. Tuesday, October 14th, the girls host Westmont. Thursday, October 16th, the girls are on the road to Lyle for a 6.30 match. Saturday, October 18th, the girls are competing in the Beecher Invitational that begins at 8 a.m. That will do it for the week in sports, so come out and support our athletes. Go Comets! Hello, Reed Custer. Here's your comic question of the week. When was the grand opening of this field house? The answer will be in 30 seconds. Hi, I'm Charles Lundner on October 14th, so that chicken nuggets with rice. Hello, this is Josh Hayden, and on Wednesday, October 15th, we'll have hot dung on a bun with some fixings and pizza. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lucas Trubel, and on Thursday the 16th, we'll be having hammered turkey soap soup with barbecue rib on bun. Hi, I'm Jessica Boyd. On October 17th, we have popcorn chicken, you guessed it, pizza. Hey, why did the man go to the Indian the pizza business? He wanted to make some dough. The answer is August of 1992, the grand opening of the field house. And that'll do it for this episode of the Chatter Newscast. Thanks for watching. Have, Have a, a great, great week, week comments. comments.